Hey guys, I hope you're all doing fine today and, and that you're super happy overall. So we're gonna do a short sequence that's gonna focus in on the shoulder girdle. We're gonna strengthen the serratus anterior, rotate our cuff muscles, also strengthening our deep core along there as well, uh, and then do a little stretching to relieve, you know, after the strengthening of it all. So what you'll need are two towels, smaller towels, you know, maybe some dish towels or small towels that would be in the bathroom, and you'll roll them up nice and tight, and then you'll have a yoga strap too. You'll want a wall space, and then a yoga mat uh, that you can slide up right to the edge there of the wall as well, okay? So what we'll do to begin, put your strap down, you'll take your rolled up towels, all right, and they're gonna go right underneath the armpits and right around the shoulder blade area, okay? Under both of them, okay, squeeze them in there. And then you're gonna walk to the wall, the back to the wall, and we're gonna try and get the whole spine in contact with the wall. So if you're, you know, have a little bit of wider hips or bigger, you know, glutes, you might wanna have your feet a little forward here of the wall, so that you're gonna be able to lengthen your tailbone and press your whole back and head into the wall. Okay, but if you're able to walk your feet as far back as you can until you find that spot where you know you can still have the whole back touch of the wall, then do that. All right, so once we're set there, we're gonna bend our elbows in, we're lengthening our tailbone, lower back's pressing down, our front ribs are pushing towards our back ribs, and those are pressing into the wall. Our head's also gonna press into the wall. Those elbows are bent, and I want you to squeeze in those towels into the arms there and you feel the arms pressing in to the sides here, the towels press into the side of the body, and I want you to notice the shoulder blades, okay, the lower portion, those are the shoulder blades. Now, okay, you're going to inhale, you need to squeeze lightly the shoulder blades together, and then squeeze the towel into the side of the body with the arms, and you're going to open your arms up out to a T position here, heading up towards the wall, and keep pressing your whole body into the wall. And exhale, you're going to release. You can bring hands towards each other and separate those shoulder blades, noticing too right now that the shoulder blades are still in contact with the wall. Inhale, begin to squeeze the shoulder blades together, opening those arms up, trying to touch the wall if you can, and then exhale, bringing palms together, separate those shoulder blades. Do that again, inhale. Body's pressing back, squeezing those shoulder blades together, opening our arms up as wide as we can, heading towards the wall, and then exhale, hands come in. Now keep going here, and I want you to keep squeezing the towels right into the body, so you're not getting any separation there of the arms away from the body, okay? Let's do it one more time. Squeezing in, keep those shoulder blades going down your back too. Good, and then we come in, and then release, release the towels, okay? Take a moment, notice that feeling that you might have in that shoulder, shoulder weight area, okay? And then you're gonna put the towels down. We're still reestablishing our foundation of pressing our body into the wall. And now you're gonna take your arms just straight down alongside your body, and then press the hands, you know, back towards the wall, and your thumbs, Right now, I'm going to point out towards the sides here. Palms are forward. Top of the hands are pressing the wall. Okay, right now, imagine that you're still squeezing those towels into the side of your body, right? Keep that feeling going, all right? And now we're going to slowly inhale. See if you can keep the arms in contact with the wall. Slowly slide the arms up to shoulder height. And as you're doing this, feel the lift coming from the shoulder blades. That's right this interior. Slowly bringing your arms up to about shoulder height here, okay? Keep working shoulder blades together. Press your body into the wall. Good, and then slowly bring the arms down. You can come down through a couple of breaths. Keep pressing those front ribs towards the back ribs and into the wall. Arms come right alongside your body, and then repeat it. You can imagine you're squeezing that towel in. Now, like the towel, can, you can imagine it gets bigger. You're still squeezing it in towards the sides of your body. Arms coming up here. Good. And then slowly bring the arms down. Good. 
Again, arms lifting. You can feel the shoulder blades working down the back and towards each other. Body staying in contact with the wall. Thumbs are up. Good, then bring those arms down. You guys are doing great. Keep shrugging shoulder blades down, squeeze them together. Good, arms going back up again. Again, think that you're squeezing that towel there, right? It might be getting larger. Are you still taking those shoulder blades down and squeezing it in? Good, and then we slowly bring those arms down. One more time, okay? Just one more time, you got this. And when you're ready, you're gonna slowly again lift those arms up, press your arms into the wall, feel the shoulder blades going down your back, squeezing now in towards each other. Good, lifting the arms up here. Pause for a sec. Press your whole body in the wall. Ribs back, good. And then slowly bring the arms down and use the armpits to pull the arms down. Good, and then release. And roll the shoulders for a sec. You can notice not just the stability happening in our shoulders, the work there, but also through our whole spine to the deep core line. All right? Stand tall. We're going to inhale. You might notice here as we're going to come forward that you might have to scoot your feet forward just a hair away from the wall. Exhale, bend the knees, come forward. Okay? Your glutes might touch the wall, that's okay. But then bring your hands down to the ground. Begin to walk and roll on yourself into a plank pose. Pausing here, and we're gonna do some nice shoulder strokes. So if you need to modify, come down onto your knees, okay? Keep the knees back behind the hips and keep lengthening your tailbone. So everyone thinking about our positioning here, not here. You want the knees down, we're not dropping down, okay? We're tucking the pubic bone, engaging our glutes, rotating the elbow creases forward. All we're going to hear, everybody, is inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then exhale, separate them, and repeat. Squeeze them together, and separate Now keep going. Notice here, when you're squeezing in, if your belly's dropping down, now you're getting yourself thrown out of alignment, okay? We're going to keep that tuck, engagement of the, the glutes, but also the front of our body, Pressing towards the back of our body. Keep it going. Zip up that core. Let's do it one more time. Good. And then slowly begin to lift the glutes up. Peel yourself back to downward facing dog. Rotating those elbow creases forward. Imagine you have those towels underneath the underarms and squeeze them in towards the side of the body. And then slowly walk your hands back. If your feet are too close to the wall, walk your feet forward a little bit, right? Then bend those knees, arms can hang, and then slowly roll it up. Good. All right. Now I want you to grab your strap. Okay, we'll grab that strap. Our feet are nice and square, right? Don't let one foot go in front of the other. Don't let the toes turn out to the side. Feet are pointing forward. Hold your strap in your right hand. Take the arms out, T position. We got palms up here. Okay, now keep your right arm externally rotated, then internally rotate your left arm. Right arm goes up. Drop the arm behind the head and press the head into your arm. Left arm goes under and up the back and bring your hands as close together as you can. Okay, if you can interlace your fingers, then do that. Now everybody, if you need to, bend your knees slightly, especially if you're beginning to lock your knees, okay? And then feel the front ribs begin to push towards the back ribs. Tuck your pubic bone under. Press your head back into your arm. Elbows go back. Feel the shoulder blades work together. Then gently pull down on that strap with that left hand to stretch out your tricep. And then everyone really lengthen up to your spine. And as we exhale, slowly dip over to the left. And as we're dipping left, our head gently presses into that right arm. And you're feeling that right elbow lifting towards the ceiling and wanting to arch over all the way to the other side of the room. 
Make sure you're not letting your chest fall forward or you're collapsing in your spine and also on that left side of your body. So pressing the head back, lifting that right elbow up. Hug the thighs in. Nice stretch here for that serious interior. Lats, obliques. Good, then slowly come up. Gently release the arms. And roll it. Notice how we're feeling on that right side here. And we'll switch, we'll go to the other side. So put the strap there in your left hand and your feet are square. Arms out, T position, palms up on both of them. Notice your belly is going forward. Lengthen tailbone, front ribs back. Keep that left arm actually rotated. Internally rotate the right arm. Left arm up, bending the arm behind the head. We take that right arm up the back. Bring the hands as close together as you can. And if the fingers can interlace, that's fine, as long as you're not collapsing in your spine. Again, those ribs push back. Do the shoulder blades work together. Head presses into that arm. Pull down on that strap with that right hand. Now we really feel that left elbow lift up. Inhale, exhale, slowly dip over to the right. Okay, feel that extra length coming up through the left side of your body, but make sure you're not collapsing on your right side, right? Falling down like this. Okay, your head's pressing back really long through that left elbow, still long on the right side of your body too. Keep working shoulder blades down your back and towards each other. Breathe. See that left elbow can lift a little higher. Maybe you dip a little bit more over to the right and bump that left hip over to the side. Great, then everyone slowly inhale it up. Exhale, release. Roll the shoulders, notice how we're feeling in that shoulder girdle, and also through that lats of legs and serratus interior there. Okay, we can put the strap down now. You go to the wall. Let's have the right side of our body facing the wall, okay? And then you can either be very close to the wall or a little further away. I'll use this here so I can face you guys straight on. Your right hand goes back on the wall about a 45 degree angle. Feet, hips, chest square right now to the front, okay? You're gonna press your right hand into the wall. Think like there's a doorknob here on that side. And almost like if you're gonna turn the doorknob to the right to open it up, you're gonna rotate the right hand opening up. We're gonna open up this right shoulder to the pec, and then either keep this left arm right alongside your body, or do a half bound arm as you lengthen your tailbone, front ribs push back, and then slowly inhale and exhale. Turn your torso a little to the left, but turn your head to look left. Feel the shoulder blades go down your back. Okay, if you feel too much like pinching that right side, you might have to bend your right elbow a little bit. Notice if you're too close to the wall or too far away. Adjust if you have to. Stay here, or you can take that left hand anywhere on the wall on the right side of your head and gently see if you can take the head into deeper rotation as you feel the right shoulder go down the spine. Deep breath in. And as we exhale, slowly releasing out. Roll, shake it off. And then you can turn around to go to the left side. Let's shift across the side of the room. Feet are square here, hips are square. Left hand to the wall, again, about a 45 degree angle, hands pressing the wall. And imagine you're going to turn a doorknob to the left. We have that external rotation in the shoulder. Lengthen to your spine. Right arm alongside the body or half bound arm. Front ribs push back. Then slowly you're going to turn your torso to the right and it'll stop, that left hand will stop it. But then continue looking over to the right with the head. Feel your left shoulder go down your back. Notice if you're locking your knees, bend the knees a little bit if you have to, all right? Stay here or you're also more than welcome to take that Right hand anywhere along the left side of your head and gently 
persuade that to go a little deeper into rotation. Notice if you're too close to the wall, do you need to come away from the wall or are you too far away from the wall? Do you need to bend that left elbow? Deep breath in. And as we exhale, slowly release out. Rolling it off, shaking it off. And just stand tall and notice how we feel in that whole neck, chest, shoulder area. So feel free to repeat this whole thing if you want to. And you can also break it up when you're doing those strengthening exercises at the wall or in plank. Feel free to do, you know, maybe three rounds of five on each, you know, or maybe it's two rounds of five on each, and then do the whole stretching sequence itself to finish off the whole practice. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Namaste.